Hi there, this is Max with Apri.io. In this video, I want to show you how to upload binary data using an API Express service. <clears throat> so for example, if you want to upload an image or maybe a PDF file to an external REST API, um, so you can do that with API Express. Now in this example, I'm actually going to use the Apri.io database uh, just as a place to store data, but again, you can use any other third-party service uh, exactly the same way. All right, so first let's quickly switch to the database and I have an existing database but you can again use an existing one or uh, create a brand new one. Now every database has a files collection. It's basically a built-in collection that's available in every database and that's where you upload binary files, you know, images, PDF files uh, and so on. So we're going to come back to this in uh, just a little bit but um, let's go to API Express and um, I have a project that I created. It's a blank project and I'm going to click new service and I'm going to, um, this is a folder name and I'm going to call this upload. Now and you want to select the custom REST API option because we want to use the visual service builder. All right and here we have the builder. Now I'm going to select the start component or it's actually already selected and this is where I'm going to define the, uh, the service uh, definition. So first I'm going to give it a name. You can call this file. I'm going to switch this to post. Um, and also I want to pass in the name of the file that I am uploading. So I'm going to put a name here. All right. So again, so this is I'm defining the API Express service right now. One more thing we want to do is we want to set, we want to say that the request body will be binary. All right. Um, so next, I'm going to use a REST component, and so via the REST component, I'm going to connect to the external REST API. Now, in this case, again, it's not external because I'm uploading to Operator database, but uh, you know, in your app, you know, you can be uploading to an external REST API. But again, the steps will be the same, and we need to set the uh, the URL here. All right. But let's quickly change this to post and let's get the URL. Now to get the URL for the database, if you click create, you'll see a curl command. We can just copy this, take it back and set the URL. So this is the file name and we can just change this to just file name like this. And notice that when you um, change the brackets it automatically parses and it inserts the pass parameter and we want to map it to the name. So what this means is that the name that will be entered uh, for the API Express service it will be passed as a path parameter into the REST, uh, REST component and in turn into this URL. Okay. All right. Um, next we want to set um, two header parameters. And that's, uh, we need to set the database ID and also the master key. And I'm going to tell you about the master key in just a second. So let's copy, let's copy this. And set it to this value. And one thing you need to make sure is that you need to put brackets um, because you can actually enter a JavaScript expression. So again, uh, you want to make sure this is in um, in quotes, right? Single quotes or uh, or double quotes, right? So next, I can just copy this. We can set uh, set the master key. So master key. Now, why do we need the master key? So uploading files to the files collection requires uh, a signed in user or a session token. Now, we don't want to, you know, have a uh, need to create a session token in this particular example. So that's why instead you can use a master key, which sort of gives you admin access to the uh, database, right? So again, you can either use a session token or a master key. And in this example, we're going to use a master key. And to get the master key, you can go to settings. And then right here, master key, I'm just going to copy this value and go back and set it like this. All right. Now for the content type, for now I'm going to set it to uh, 
just uh, image PNG, but I'm going to also show you later how to set it uh, dynamically based on the image type. And the last thing we want to do is again we're going to set the request body to binary and the binary body to a binary request. All right, and that's basically it. So now what we can do is we can save and we can click test. All right. Um, so you can see you can enter the name here. Now, what you can do here is you can play here and maybe upload a file which is a text file. Okay. Um, so for example, my text file.txt, you can say hello world, click test. All right. And we get the response back. But of course, it's going to be more interesting if you go back to the database. And we can see the file is right here. Oh, actually, I said the wrong um, content type. So again, you can test it, but of course, we, you want to set the content type based on the file. So we're going to do this uh, in just a second. But this just shows the file was uploaded. But of course, what's more interesting is uploading an image. And for that, I'm actually going to I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to take it to uh, Postman. Uh, which is a, an extension um, in Chrome browser that you can get. And we can just paste the URL, switch to post, and then click params. And you can see the API key is here. And then here we're going to say my picture and uh, PNG. And now body, and then select binary. And then you can select a picture. And this is just a quick and easy way to test, um, right? So let's do this, and then you click send, All right? So it started uploading, and here we go. So this is this means it's a successful uh, upload. And if I go back here, actually to the database. And we can switch to full screen and hit refresh. You can see that my picture is in here. I can click download and I can say open. And here we go. All right. And here's the picture. Um, so you can see testing is, is very quick and simple with, with Postman. Um, but now remember, again, we got into this problem with the text that this is uh, incorrect. Uh, we can still, let me see if we can um, just try opening it. Let's type text. Uh, it doesn't, let, let's, let me select it. Uh, but that's fine. Um, we will, um, let's, let's set up so we can dynamically set this content type, right? It's going to be much better. Uh, and to do that, uh, I'm going to use this. I'm going to explain this in just a second. Back here. So for content type, make it a little bigger. So what this means is the param query name. I just have to change it to, oh, it matches name, name. So because you can write actually JavaScript here, I'm actually uh, just matching. If it's a PNG, then I'm going to send the content type to PNG. Uh, if it's JPEG, uh, or else I'm going to set it to JPEG. So in this, the same fashion, you can send it to text, all right? But we'll just keep it at image, just images for now. And let's save. And let's go back to Postman. Let's select um, only if PNGs, but hopefully we'll. Uh, We'll still see the content type correct, uh, the correct value there. Click send. It's uploading and um, it's done. And um, you can see that, um, let's go back to the database so we can see the content type. Database. All right, so. Uh, this is the one that I just uploaded, and if I click download, open with, 
and here we go it's a picture of a flower okay so um, as you can see you can you know instead of hard coding values you can uh, also set them uh, in this dynamic fashion uh, and again uh, you can support you know txt uh, or other files uh, the same way all right so i hope this was useful um, we have other videos on the api express um, playlist on our youtube channel so definitely check this out uh, check out those videos and the next video we'll try to upload is how to take a picture with a camera on a device and then upload it to the database all right so that's hopefully we'll we'll record this video soon but again thank you for watching